hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel john Suleiman come out to say that people is abusing men of god they are abusing pastors they are saying all kind of things against the men of god you know these are the real men of god these are the powerful men of god who does fake fake miracle we all know apostle john Suleiman is arranging miracles every time and the social media talk about John C. Suleiman. John C. Suleiman is trying to pull down the social media. John C. Suleiman cannot control the internet. It's not possible. John C. Suleiman cannot control the whole wide world. The only God of heaven and earth, that is the one that sits in heaven, that can control the heavens and the earth, not John C. Suleiman. John C. Suleiman is talking about how people talk against pastor and this church is still booming no your church is not booming your church is not booming you are brainwashing these people by the time these people will realize wake up that how much you yourself that is calling people in the internet is scammer how much you yourself has scammed them it will be too late for them to realize because we thank God for people like that, the freeze, who start to open people's eyes because it's true that the freeze that my eye got opened too. Yes, John C. Suleiman should stop those things that she's saying. If he's she, he's saying, you know, John C. Suleiman cannot control this internet. Look at John C. Suleiman wife in this photograph. And look at John C. Suleiman wife in, in present now. They are both eating the church money, saying that nobody can chop God money. When you are chopping God money, you can your tongue cannot even stay in one place. Your mouth cannot even let you to stay in one place. You are abusing people. You are calling the internet that it is the internet that is abusing people. How can John Sisulema wake up every day and lie against God? Huh? How can he deceive people? John C. Suleiman chained all his church members down in one place. This is what me I have to say. He chained them in one place so that they will never realize that he's deceived deceive them. Thank you, guys. Love you. Calling. Very cheap and very childish. There are three kinds of people that attack pastors. The first kind of people are those who want to start their own ministry. But they have to discredit other existing men of God. The second class of people that attack pastors are those who want social media presence. They want a lot of followers because we live in a generation that thrives in dispute. The third kind of people that attack pastors are those who do not know why they are attacking. They just join the bandwagon. If you are a pastor, I said this years ago. You see, anything that happens, I see it ahead of time. I told pastors years ago, I said, have investments aside preaching. And they called me names. First God's work. Leave this. Today we see what, what's going on. If you are a pastor and you have businesses and things you do aside preaching, enjoy your life. But help the poor. Live a good life. God will only punish you and punish you big time. You touch church funds. Because church money is public funds. People don't know how ministry operates. Do you know there are people who think that once offering tithe and all that is collected, they put in the pastor's car. Not knowing that pastor earns a salary like a staff. At the end of the month, they pay pastor is they give him a salary, his allowance. Am I saying the truth? People don't know. They say, ah, is it, it's not your money. It's not your money. So people are carrying sins on their head over what they don't know. I always tell people, social media or me or anything.